Hey guys, it's V as Alice, or just V if you would prefer. Some of you may know me because we're Facebook friends or through Stephanie Meyer Day, where I portray Alice Cullen for the Olympic Coven. Um, but apart from portraying Alice for Stephanie Meyer Day, um, I'm actually really, really hands-on in the planning of the event year-round. So um, I'm really big into event scheduling and coordinating. I do public relations. I'm uh, really active on our social media pages, particularly Facebook. So. I wear a lot of hats and it's um, so I can help out Stacey Chastain, our fearless leader, without whom Stephanie Meyer Day as we know it wouldn't even exist. So thank you so much for Stacey and I'm really, really happy to do what I can to help her out. So I just wanted to talk to you guys today about what the Olympic Coven has going on independently from Stephanie Meyer Day and a little bit about Stephanie Meyer Day itself next year. And um, what some of you may not know about Stephanie Meyer Day is that it's an independently funded event, so we don't get our funds from a corporation or from a city council. It's all basically whatever we can put together, and that sort of dictates what kind of event we have. And because we have really big dreams and we want to make Stephanie Meyer Day the best event it can be every year, um, and an even better event every year, um, we're doing some other events next year to sort of help us fund it. So through merchandise sales and things like that, um, we're hoping to really generate some more income from Stephanie Meyer Day so that we can make this the best Stephanie Meyer Day ever. Stephanie Meyer herself may not come next year, but, you know, we're doing everything that we can to build even greater experiences for people. So um, let's talk about what's happening next year. So the first event we have coming up in 2014 is called Mystic Falls at Twilight Girls Getaway. Um, it's in Gatlinburg, Tennessee from February 21st to the 23rd. And the reason why I'm really excited for this one is because it's actually a Twilight and Vampire Diaries crossover event. So um, it brings the best of both worlds together and it's welcoming for fans of both franchises, which is really, really cool because as we all know, there is quite a bit of crossover between Twilight and the Vampire Diaries in terms of who likes what. So um, I think it's a really cool opportunity to bring both fan bases together. So that event is going to be hosted by myself and our Jasper for the Olympic Coven, whose name is Josh Goff. And um, what some of you may not know about our Jasper is that he actually began his lookalike career as Edward. Um, and it's only recently that he started portraying Jasper. So he'll be playing both roles, but primarily Edward for Mystic Falls, a Twilight Girls getaway. Um, and the reason why they brought me in is because, as we all know, Edward is um, more of a serious character and he tends to take himself a little bit seriously, which may not be the best personality dynamic when you're hosting an event. So enter Alice, who's a little bit more bubbly and fun to sort of play off that and make Edward feel a little bit more comfortable and um, interact with the crowd in a, in a really positive and fun way. So we're really, really looking forward to that, um, especially because there will be some Twilight actors there. So Boo Boo Stewart and Gurry Weinberg will be there. And we're going to have some really cool events. There's um, a Vampire Family Feud. There's a Masquerade Ball, which is the big event. Um, there's a Pajama Party, which is going to be hosted by Edward and myself. Um, so that's going to be really cool. And the very best thing about that is that if they can sell out the event, um, they're going to be offering a $200 ticket. So currently it's priced at $500 because as we all know, hosting an event like this is not cheap, um, especially when you start throwing in actors um, because there are fees involved there, there are agent fees. So it's an appropriately priced ticket, I feel, for what you're getting um, with all the meals you're getting and all the events. And like I said, um, photo opportunities with actors. But if they can sell out the event, and I think that they have 100 more tickets to go, um, they will offer a $200 ticket instead of $500. So we're going to be posting the information for that so that you can check out their Facebook page and find out how you can get on the list because it's a really great opportunity and um, people make a lot of friendships through events like this. So I would highly recommend checking them out. The second event that we have coming up next year is from April 25th to the 27th and it's in Birmingham, Alabama. Um, and I don't know how much I'm allowed to say about this yet, but um, I think I'm allowed to tell you I hope I'm allowed to tell you that it's going to be structured amazing race style and I hope that that sounds intriguing to you guys because that sounds really intriguing to me and I'm really curious to see how it's all going to play out and um, given that it's being planned by the same lady who's planning Mystic Falls of Twilight Girls Getaway I know it's going to be amazing. Um, so like I said that's in Birmingham, Alabama and hopefully the Facebook page for that will be up soon so we'll be able to give out a little bit more information but what I can say about that is that the whole Olympic Coven will be there which is really cool. Um, and it's just going to be a lot of fun. So stay tuned for more information about that and um, pretty excited. 
The third event we have coming up next year, which we're really excited about, is Forever and Forks. They're hosting another annual event, um, this time in Phoenix, Arizona, in honor of Bella. Um, and this is from June 20th to the 22nd. And for this one, um, this is another event where the whole Olympic Coven will be there, which is really, really awesome, which means we get to see each other. And um, hopefully some of the people who we don't normally see throughout the year will be able to come. So we don't have too many details about this event yet, but they're going to be posting um, an event schedule soon and um, some ticketing information. Um, but for those of you who were at Stephanie Meyer Day last year, you may remember if you were there, the Forever and Forks party on Saturday night was really, really fun. We had Jack Morrissey and Eric Odom there. Um, we had karaoke. We had amazing food. There was an open bar for those of you who, are, who partake in that. Um, and there was a really infamous rendition of Baby Got Back by Jasper. <laughs> um, if you haven't seen that, it may make you look at Jasper in a different light. So check it out on YouTube. It's really fun. Um, the thing about Forever and Forks is that every year they offer a really world-class event. And it's to benefit a charity. Um, last year it was Stand Up to Cancer, and I believe this year it's Stand Up to Cancer as well. So all of the proceeds from their events are donated to charity. They don't keep any of the money. And I think it's really important to remember that the people who host events like this don't do it for their own benefit. They do it because they see they see a niche that needs to be filled in the Twilight community. Like they see events aren't happening in their area or they see something that isn't be, going to be done. So they say, I'm going to be the one that does it. Um, I have a vision and no one's doing it. So I'm going to make it happen. So that's essentially what people like Forever and Forks are doing, what Mystic Falls of Twilight Girls Getaway is doing. Um, and I know that there's been griping in the past about the cost of events like this. And all I can say is that it's worth the money for what you're getting. You're getting so many opportunities, so many friendships made. Um, you're getting food, you're getting experiences, you're getting parties, you're getting access to Twilight Stars. And um, as I've said previously, none of this um, is cheap, unfortunately. It costs money to run an event. It costs money to get celebrities to come to your event. And um, unfortunately, that's reflected in the ticket prices. But please know that for events like this, like people aren't stuffing their wallets with your money. It's really all going to charity and it's all going to making the event run. And Stephanie Meyer Day is the same way. So um, we feel a little bit of camaraderie for events like Forever and Forks because we know how it is. So um, check out Forever and Forks. Um, as soon as they have their ticket information, we're going to be posting it on our Facebook page. So as soon as they have the information up, you'll know it. In September is our very own Stephanie Meyer Day, which runs from September 11th to the 14th. So it's a four-day format, which we've been doing for the last few years. And um, for those of you who don't know, Stephanie Meyer Day actually used to only be a one-day event. Um, it was um, a celebration of Bella's birthday with a cake cutting with Bella and um, a group photo. And um, in recent years, the Stephanie Meyer Day committee has really committed to stepping up their game with the events. Um, and expanding it to a weekend of activities, which I think is really great because everybody knows that Forks isn't an easy place to get to. Oftentimes it involves extensive travel, um, time off work, so it's really great that we're now offering a weekend full of activities and every year we're just striving to make it a better and better event. So that's what we're doing this year and um, some events that I'm really excited for are shopping with Alice and the Cullens. Um, big surprise, I know. But to be honest, I've been to Forks twice now, and there are still some shops that I've never been into. Um, so we really just want to take the time to um, show people what Forks has to offer, what they have in terms of retail, take them around to every store, and offer a little bit of a personal shopping service. Um, so that should be really, really fun. And like I said, we just want to show people what Forks has to offer and um, hopefully bring some business to those, um, to those independent stores there. So that's going to be fun. I'm also really excited for Jasper's Benefit for Sarge's Place, which is a um, charity that benefits homeless veterans in Forks. So um, we really, um, it's really important to us to bring a charitable aspect to Stephanie Meyer Day um, because we are from out of town and we are bringing in tourism for Stephanie Meyer Day. So we just want to make sure that we're being respectful to the people of Forks and that we're finding some way to benefit the community when we're there. So we're not just bringing in a bunch of you know, enthusiastic Twilight fans and um, not leaving the city in a, in a better place than, than we found it. So we're really, really um, open to just being good to the city of Forks because they've been good to us and they've allowed us opportunities and allowed us, they've welcomed us and um, allowed us to live our Twilight fantasies. So giving back is extremely important to us. Um, and I'm also really excited for Everett and Bella's anniversary event. It's going to be so beautiful. Not too many details that I can give right now because the event location is still a secret, but as we all know, Bella Italia will be catering the event, and if you haven't had their mushroom ravioli, it's amazing. 
So yes, just extremely excited for that to celebrate Edward and Bella's love. And um, apart from Stephanie Meyer Day, we actually are planning one more event in Forks next year. I can't give too many details about that at this moment, but um, this is the first time we're talking about it publicly, so I'm really happy to be the first to announce that. Um, what I can say is that it will be after Stephanie Meyer Day. Um, it'll be around Christmas time. So it's, it's going to be amazing, and I can't wait until all those details come together and so we can let you guys know. So for those of you who can't make it to Forks for Stephanie Meyer Day, for whatever reason, work commitments, school commitments, we are doing another event um, after Stephanie Meyer Day. So hopefully we'll see you in Forks in 2014. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you don't already, um, follow us on Facebook, where Stephanie Meyer Day. Um, Stephanie Meyer Day is the only official Facebook page for the event, and the Olympic Coven is the official lookalike group for Stephanie Meyer Day. So, like I said, check us out if you haven't already. We also have Instagram and Twitter, um, which is linked on our Facebook profile. And um, we also have a website, which is stephaniemeyerday.com. And um, all of those accounts are really frequently updated. We're really happy to keep you guys in the loop about what's going on with us and what the schedule is looking like, how Stephanie Meyer Day is shaping up, and uh, where the Olympic Coven is going to be next year. So if you're looking for any and all of that information, we've got it for you. So like I said, check us out, and um, we hope to see you in Forks next year.